Welcome everyone. My name is Hakan Adere. We will talk about the performance monitoring on CCV2. So each environment also comes with a Dynatrace subscription and you can check your Dynatrace. Uh, you can find the Dynatrace link here in the monitoring section by clicking this, this button, right? If there's any issues with your Dynatrace, uh, with your environment, then this, Dyna this part will list that, uh, that those problems. By clicking this link, you can get access to the Dynatrace. Perfect. Again, uh, we, with your subscription, we provide you some default dashboards. Um, the, the two dashboards that we, we provide is the performance monitoring and the load test. So this home dashboard is basically the default dashboard of Dynatrace, doesn't have anything special regarding CCV2, but you will get the load test and performance monitoring dashboards. A performance monitoring dashboard is quite good. You can get the overall view of your DB connections, uh, the throughput, uh, success rates, solar, thread pulls, load balancing, everything under one dashboard. Here you can find it, right? Um, the only thing that you may not find is the deutilization of DB. Uh, you cannot see it from Dynatrace, but what you can do is you can log into back office. Okay, let me look quickly enable this one. Okay, in the meantime, let's go back to Dynatrace. So you can see all of your infrastructure here. So in Dynatrace, Dynatrace always, um, it, it creates these reports uh, per week, right? So it just shows how, how your um, system is doing in terms of service quality. Right, and in the problem sections section, you can see the issues that you are ex you are uh, your system experiencing, right? And for the last two hours, this environment was healthy. But if I switch to six hours, uh, twenty-four hours, I can see that there was some issue, right? Uh, probably relating with, with with maintenance window, something like that. Uh, um, but for the last two hours, there was there was no issue, right? Uh, the good thing with the so with the Dynatrace is um, you can see all your services here, right? Um, so I can see my accelerator storefront, my API, my back office here, and if I click this service, I can see that this service is provided by one node. So this is the Docker. Um, uh, Pod, right? So this is the Kubernetes pod that we have. So this pod, as you can see here, runs on this virtual machine, right? So I can see that. So it runs on this virtual machine, and it, this this pod is the. So this virtual machine contains multiple pods, as you can see here. So one of them is the uh, accelerator storefront pod, right? So I can see if if I had like two accelerator storefront uh, nodes, right, then I would see like two pods here, uh, uh, which is which may be hosted, probably will be hosted on two different VMs, right, virtual machines. Here I can see the memory usage. Um, so there is this memory usage of the pod, and this is the memory usage of the host machine, the VM, right? And then if I want to check the JVM statistics, I can check the, I can click the JVM metrics and I can get the, uh, more detailed uh, usage of the parade and space CMS all gen and and so on. I can see the if there is any garbage collection time that takes long. I can see those as well. If I click show detailed memory metrics, I can see more details about that uh, about my JVM. Uh, and even I can see the uh, uh, I can see how the caches are doing. Right, the region caches, the query cache, entity cache. Uh, all are listed here for you in Dynatrace. So you don't need to necessarily log into HAC. And this is here, not just for the, uh, for the admin node, right? So sorry, for the back office node, right? This is also here for, for storefront nodes. You can, you, you can also check the hybrid caches of the API nodes or whatever nodes you have. Like, again, I can check the DB connection pools and so on. Okay, uh, again, if 
we have, we provide, um, so this Dynatrace instance is obviously, as you can see, is customized for hybrid. So here I can see a tab called hybrid cron job. So I can see uh, what kind of a cron job is running. Um, for this instance, since we didn't configure, we didn't disable cron jobs, I can see that um, even a cron job is running on the access storefront, right? Um, so this is this is how you can get the details. So if I click the further details, I can get all these details uh, from this section. Okay, let's go back, let's go back. Uh, so I can see that I have one port and from this port, I see that I'm using two services, which is not monitored here. And again, from transaction and services, if I want to check, I, want, I can check the back office as well. Uh, like this. And I can see that what kind of requests are coming to this back office, right? Or I can do the same thing for the uh, storefront as well. I can click here and I can click view requests so that I, I can see what kind of requests are done within these two hours for these uh, for this um, accelerator storefront, the slowest ones and so on. Okay, um, let's go to database. So again, I can see my database listed here. Um, and what I can see is, I can see the top um, database queries, right? If, if you want to do some kind of tuning on your site, you can check which uh, query is taking too much time or which is ex executed like uh, a lot. So you can also see the number of executions, uh, the exe total executions and so on. So you can identify the hotspots uh, from, from this link as well. So host shows the, uh, the, the number of VMs that you have right now on, in this environment. And uh, from the network, you can see the network traffic and uh, not all of these monitoring options are available for CCV2, like for the VMware, we don't have, uh, so we don't, we, we are not monitoring anything. Right now for Azure, we don't monitoring anything, but in future maybe we can. Uh, from the Docker, you can see that the number of Docker images um, that are created. So we, you have like, we have like 39 Docker, different Docker images, which runs on six different virtual machines and we have a total of uh, around 180 Docker containers. So we can get all these informations uh, from, uh, uh, from Dynatrace. And again, uh, if you want to get details about Kubernetes, you can get these ones as well uh, from, from Dynatrace. Um, this is a great tool to identify any performance issues, right? Especially uh, when you execute a perf performance test and you are experiencing some slowness on storefront side, and then you can just analyze that. You, you, you can see that maybe, for example, you are just calling a web service and that web service is returning in a couple of minutes. And then you can just pinpoint that the actual bottleneck is not the storefront or hybrid side, but it is that web service because you, you are waiting for that web service call and that is causing slowness in your own application. So you can see all these flows in Dynatrace. Since this is not really a Dynatrace um, session, I'm not going to go into the, these details, but you can see all these um, in, 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 in Dynatrace. Okay, uh, so let me check if we can access back office now. Perfect, let's see if we have HAC. Perfect. So the other thing that I want to show you here. So here in CCV2, we added this Azure tab to your admin console. So always have the admin console, at least for the back office, right? Uh, and then if you log into HAC in the back office and go to database tab, then you can see your database utilization. So right now we are using like 0% of the database. So you can see it for the last 30 minutes. So if you think that there's some kind of uh, database usage, um, the, the database cons use, usage is kind of high, you can check it from your back office and you can see that uh, what is the current usage of your database. 
Okay, just one thing that I want to show you here is the site availability. So once you go live, what happens is, since this is a, not a production environment, I cannot show it to you, but for production environments, uh, you set one of your endpoints as the monitoring point, right? So what happens is um, there is this external monitoring co tool called Catchpoint. And with that tool, we externally monitor one of your endpoints. So um, for a production environment, you can only monitor one of your endpoints. So usually uh, it will be your storefront endpoint, right? And um, what happens is that external uh, monitoring tool just checks every couple of seconds and see if the, that uh, that endpoint is live or not. And if if it sees that the endpoint is not live, then it will automatically create a P1 ticket, the highest ticket that is available, uh, so that the uh, cloud support can check, look into your issue right away. Right. So that is something that I cannot show it he here because. Um, it's only available on production environments. Also, once it is done in the site availability section, you will see the reports of your site, right? Uh, the uptime, page load time, and so on. Again, this report is not live. Uh, it is uh, created monthly. So you will see the monthly statistics of your site's availability based on the monitoring of the external of that external tool